it going guys? This week on CineScan I have for you Scenes from the Suburbs. This movie is directed by Spike Johns and it is written by S Spike Johns as well, Wynn and Will Butler who are from Arcade Fire which is where this movie gets its music and it's generally based off of their album The Suburbs. This movie stars Justin Arnold, C.N. Bao, and William Buchanan. Now there was no description for this movie on IMDb so I gave it my own description. Memories fade fast in this small town for one teenager who looks back on the changes that occur to his clique when a civil war breaks out in his town that affects one of his closest friends. So I just got done watching this movie and it felt extremely indie. I mean it was really choppy and it had a very good art style to it, but yet it seemed so real. It seemed it was very well put together. Now, for some people, this film might represent the fear of what is to come in the far future if things like SOPA and PIPA and the treaty that they just signed represent the milestones to where, you know, if you're starting to ban things, smaller things now, where could this lead to a huge lockdown in the future? And that's what this film is representing, is a far future from where we are at right now. Terrence, Winter's older brother, represents what I believe as, you know, telling his younger brother to grow up faster and not to fit in with his clique because they don't represent what is accepted in society and, you know, trying to move him along faster and break him off from the immature things that he sees in his friends. One of my big things that I liked, like I said before, was the art style and how it seemed broken up and as the narrator is talking, he's talking about different memories and it's flashing back and forth giving you a feel of what he's trying to remember. Now, one of my problems with this movie, it's not a big problem, but it seemed like they didn't answer why the war broke out in his small town and why this type of level of lockdown actually happened in their area or let alone the whole country. Now I guess you could cut that problem out because it could have been written like that to kind of leave it open a little bit for you to express, express your opinions as to how we can get from where we are today to avoid getting to what this film is and where it is at. In my opinion, it was a very nice movie and I liked it. I didn't have trouble watching it at all. If you have 30 minutes to sit down and watch this movie, go watch this movie. If you're a fan of Arcade Fire, you will like this movie, obviously, and you'll like the soundtrack that goes along with it. But other than that, guys, as always, big thumbs up to people who thumbs up the video, subscribe, and you can also follow me on the Twitter and my Tumblr, which is in the Dropbox below. Thank you, guys. See you next week.